This is my 1995 Ford Mondeo Mark I. I really like this car. It's by no means a very cool car or anything widely accepted as a classic, but it really grew on me over the time I owned it and I just loved driving it. Over the last years I started modding it a bit and tried out different things you could do with your car. Overall, mostly cosmetic stuff like changing the wheels or wrapping the exterior. I also got interested in performance mods, but found it very difficult to start. There are a lot of contradicting statements about this on the internet. Some people say an open air filter will gain one or two horsepowers because the engine can breathe better. While others say an open air filter will decrease horsepower as it sucks in hot engine air. And so on, you get the idea. So my engineering approach to problems like this is, if you change something, measure it. I know, if you want to do this correct, you have to go to a dyno and really test the performance of your car. But this is very expensive and I don't want to pour too much money into this. I just want to have some fun and learn some new things. Well, eBay offers a lot of cool gauges that you can install into your car, which are also not too expensive. But this gives you only some data and installing these sometimes seems a bit mysterious to me. Do I have to drill a hole in my engine block to install this 13 euro oil temperature gauge? Doesn't seem risky at all. So I thought, well, my ECU already has all this data. Why don't I ask the ECU directly? eBay also offers a lot of cheap OBD2 connectors and there's a lot of different software for it, which includes data loggers and dashboards. This is the perfect solution, I thought, as my Mondeo also has an OBD2 plug under the steering wheel. But there was a catch. You see, OBD2 is a kind of standardized communication protocol over different communication channels like CAN bus or J1850. These protocols are assigned to certain pins on the OBD2 connector, so a diagnostic device knows which communication channels to use. Here you see the typical pins on an OBD2 connector and guess what pins are used on the Mondeo. These two, pin 3 and 11. After digging into this, I found out that a lot of Ford cars from between 1995 and 2000 were using a proprietary protocol which is called DCL, short for Data Communication Link. So I guess the Mondeo falls in the OBD1 category, but I'm not really sure about the terms here. But back to our problem of reading data. This seemed not at all like an easy solution, but a fun one which led me to digging more into the Ford DCL protocol. About two years later, this is what I came up with. The ECUs Ford used at that time were called EEC4, hence I call this the EEC4 reader. If you have a more creative name, please let me know. It is based on an Arduino Uno and a custom-made Arduino shield, which holds a simple user interface and an RS485 chip. The DCL protocol is based on a UART-like communication over RS-485, called CART. The reader can send different commands over DCL to an ECU to execute different diagnostic operations. Currently supported operations are error code reading, system checks with and without running engine and live data reading. The DCL protocol is very complicated and talking to a small display while reading live data was just too much for the little Arduino. Which is why I also added a desktop application. This application is basically an extended display as it cannot send any commands to the reader but it enables live data reading and also logging. If you also have an old Ford from around that era which has an EEC4 ECU, this reader might also work for your car. I just released the first major version, but it still could use some more testing, especially with other cars than a Mondeo Mark I. So if you want to participate in this project, I'm really happy for any kind of help. There are links to the GitHub repositories with the code for the Arduino, the desktop application and also circuits for the PCB. I can also help you with the hardware part, just see the notes down below. Back to my performance mods, I never did any of them on my car until now. I have the data now, but I realize there's still a lot to learn and so many things I not yet fully understand. But I still enjoyed working on my reader and hacking this old kind of hardware. After all, thanks for watching this video. If you have any experience with old Ford diagnostics, let me know in the comments. Have a great day and see you soon.